I'm Michael West, Technical Product Manager with VMware. This is the first video in a series that looks at using the VM service with your custom-built images and cloud init to configure and deploy virtual machines. Let's start by looking at a virtual machine deployed from an OVF file in a way that you are probably very familiar with. You specify the VM properties like network IPs or DNS servers. They are stored with the VM as properties in the VApp options. Notice the use of OVF environment transport along with VM tools to inject these properties into the VM. The VM service uses the Kubernetes API enabled through vSphere with Tanzu to let you define your VM via YAML specifications. We are going to create a VM and also add cloud config via cloud init as part of the spec. This is the spec for the virtual machine. You need to specify a base image for the VM. It must be in a content library that is assigned to the namespace you are creating the VM in. We will attach a persistent volume to this VM. Notice the VM metadata. This is where we reference a config map that will hold our instance configuration. We will see how to create that in a moment. We also specify the transport to be OVF ENV. This drives how the metadata is made available to the VM. As we will see, OVF ENV means that the info will be part of the VApp config properties for the VM. The VM can be attached to a private network and then exposed through a Kubernetes load balancer service. Creation of this service will generate the virtual IP used to access our VM when it is deployed. Now let's look at the cloud config we will use to configure the VM instance. We start by specifying user and group configuration. This VM will run the TTYD service to share the terminal over the web. We specify the contents of a systemd service file that will configure and manage TTYD. The packages module defines all packages to be installed to make this a functional Kubernetes client. There is some disk setup for our persistent volume, and then we run a few commands to install and configure additional tools. Config map data in Kubernetes is encoded in base64. We will paste this output into our config map spec. This config map was referenced in the VM specification. It is read by the VM service operator and added to the VM's properties. Finally, it will be read and interpreted by the cloud init process inside the VM guest OS. The specification for all of these objects are consolidated into a single file and we will apply it now. After a few seconds, we can go to vCenter and check out our running VM. In the VAB config properties for our VMware Tanzu Jumpbox VM, we see the encoded cloud config. Cloud init will apply it to the VM. Let's look at our VM load balancer service and get the virtual IP. Now we can access the VM from our browser. This demo used a curated VMware Ubuntu image to create the VM. In part two of this blog and video series, you will see how the cloud init transport expands on your ability to generate your own images through the automated tooling of your choice and deploy through the VM service.